Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you won't see the narcissist getting their karma. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk Why you won't see the narcissist getting their karma. The narcissist hurt and betrayed you. They cast you aside, stripped you of everything and left you as a shell of who you once were. And it may seem as though they're riding off into the sunset with their new supply which may cause you to believe that karma doesn't affect them or that karma doesn't exist, when really they are getting their karma every day. You just won't see it because they don't want you to see it. But the truth is that they never experience inner peace. Research has shown that people with narcissism have an increased risk of addiction which is why narcissists are commonly found to be addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, gambling, and even social media. They use people's substances and objects in an attempt to fill the emptiness inside. But it never does because it never lasts. So they need more and more to take them away from how they're really feeling. Which is why if you take away whatever you're giving to them, they will feel miserable because they're very insecure and they're being tormented on the inside. Which is why they try to medicate with people and things because they have this grand illusion of continually getting things outside of themselves to try to feel better inside of themselves. They need supply to regulate their emotions. They need the attention, superiority and significance. They feel entitled to have it. But no matter what they have, they're never satisfied. They're constantly comparing themselves to other people. And if they see that you're satisfied with something, they will parasite off you. Because they're not capable of creating it on their own. Yet no matter what they have, it's never enough to fill their void. No matter what you give to them, their false self will always demand more the next time. And if you were their grade A source of supply, it's unlikely that they will ever find more. So they will never be able to replace you, which means that they will experience dissatisfaction and disappointment for the rest of their lives. Because while they may be using you as their reference point, nothing and no one is ever going to measure up to you. Which is why even though they may act like they have everything, they're still not happy. It may look like they have moved on to a new source of supply and maybe they have a big house with a luxury car parked outside. But now the significance of these things has worn off. It's no longer as stimulating and exciting as it was when they first had it. So now they need more to try to feel better. But no matter who or what they obtain, it will never be enough. They will always end up devaluing and turning against it. And that ends up being the only way that they can find some relief. By offloading and attacking people in order to gain superiority again as a result of affecting people emotionally because they have to label other people as the cause of why they feel that way in order to gain a sense of power. And nothing makes them feel more powerful than destroying and discarding their victims and then figuring out ways to make them come back for more whether it's by ignoring, blaming or love bombing them or by discarding them completely and moving things forward with their new supply. When what they have with the new supply is no different to what they had with you. They feed people's need for attention and recognition. 
They pretend to care and be interested to get you to serve them because it's all about them. Which is why any relationship with a narcissist will be full of lies, drama and chaos. They lack consciousness and they have no peace. So they can't be grateful or enjoy what they have. Their internal state and their outer life is a mess because it's all built on lies. And one lie has to turn into hundreds of lies in order for them to maintain that lie. How could they ever be happy? They are running from the truth of themselves, so they will never feel whole and complete. But once they've discarded you, you won't see them getting their karma, because only the closest people to them get to see it. While for everyone else, they wear a mask. And narcissists are great actors. They have an inflated sense of their own importance. So they're able to create a convincing performance, which is how they often move on without any direct consequences for their behavior. While it is the victims who get further victimized and punished by society. Victims of narcissistic abuse are often judged as crazy and emotionally unstable because they react to the narcissist mind games while the narcissist remains calm and collected so people believe them. The reality is that many narcissists are often considered to be likeable people because most people don't see underneath their mask and that's how they either manage to get away with the things they do or they just go undetected because they're pretending to be something they're not. What really distinguishes narcissists from the rest of us is that they don't let people in on their true feelings. You could be in a relationship with a narcissist for decades and you still won't know their inner thoughts and self-concept, which is how they're able to move on and act like they're living their best lives because they're pathological liars and they're trying to provoke you and irritate you while concealing their jealousy and pain. Karma is affecting them internally. They're constantly ruminating. They experience repetitive thinking, which is very unpleasant for them. They deal with shame, anxiety and depression, especially after they've lost you. But you won't be aware of it because they don't want you to know. They're concealing their true reality. They're not going to tell you they're angry and miserable. So you're not going to care about it. But that doesn't mean that it isn't happening. Time reveals all. You may see it at some point in the future. But it may be best that you don't see it. Because many of you are empaths. And you may feel bad for them. You may try to help them. When really... You just need to let karma do what it does. Because if you get involved and you try to help them, then you may experience the effects of their karma, which weren't even intended for you. But they're going to hide the effects of their karma for as long as they can. And until that time, you shouldn't believe anything they say or do because they are pathological liars. They hide the truth and reality which is why you won't see their karma. But if you were a fly on a wall, you would witness the amount of suffering they're going through because they lost you. And now things are getting better for you. While they're stuck with their new supply, their fake friends and their dysfunctional family dynamic, they are suffering. They are dealing with their karma. But they enjoy manipulating people and orchestrating situations. They enjoy making things appear differently than they actually are. Because then that gives them a sense of power and control. It gives them supply. While if you were aware of what they're really dealing with, it would bruise their ego and pride. They would be humiliated. 
and it would seriously affect you and maybe even traumatize you, which is not the type of effect they want to have on you. They want you to see them as superior, as having a better situation than what you have. They don't want you to see them in pain. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.